Hello, hi, welcome to Hybrid, and this is Hourglass. Now, Hourglass is a first person puzzle game in which you get to explore areas filled with advanced technology built by the people of ancient Egypt as you try to search for your missing father. Now, this is the prologue of Hourglass. It, the full release is coming in October. I played a demo version, an early demo version of Hourglass years ago, but this is the prologue. The game is really close to release. And uh, we're gonna check it out together. This is a prologue available on Nish.io, powered by Unreal Engine 4. Let's start. Yes, start new game. Yes. The game saves automatically, fair enough. Seven-year-old archaeologist Arthur McConnor is now missing for more than two weeks. His latest expedition in Egypt with... Archaeologist Arthur McConnor never returned from his last expedition. The 47-year-old father was known for his research about ancient Egypt and its technological capabilities. His neighbors said... For 14 days, the rescue team have stopped the search for Arthur McConnor. The man who was leading the search said in an interview that it is highly unlikely for the archaeologist to still be alive. McConnor's last GPS signal came from Well, the official search may be over, but I'm not giving up on my father. I'm not giving up. I still have hope. He's still alive somewhere. And so? Arthur McConnor's daughter takes a boat and goes down the River Nile. Towards the last uh, coordinates were transmitted by her father's GPS. Here, no crocodiles, which is good. Statues, hmm, a little bit Icarus like. It's so hot, hot and and sandy. Not that wet though. Despite the river being there. Oh, oh, jump, sorry. I can jump, that's good. It's a good thing I can jump. What do we have? Oh, no. Hello, little bird. Oh, that doesn't look that good. That looks like a predator. Well, actually, scavenger, probably. Mm, remnants of a fire. Maybe father was here at some point. Well, I guess he was, but that fire has been out for some time now. Oh, great. An eagle. It's too quiet around here. Okay. Okay. Oh. Alright, we got it. I mean, the companion cube. Well, it's not exactly a companion cube. It's it's like a companion cube, except it's, you know, Egyptian made. Not made by uh, Aperture Science. Portal reference. You, you know you know it. Whoa. whoa! Whoa, whoa, look at that! Is that a ghost? Go around. That kind of look a ghost. Maybe it was Papa. Oh, I need another. Okay. And if I take this one, it's gonna. Oh, I need to get. It. Okay, got it. We need to use two ancient Egyptian companion cubes. It's fine. They don't talk though. 
But you know what? I can talk to them. Do you know my father? Have you seen him coming through here, little cubes? You must have seen something. He's a human, like me. He's, he's taller, he has a beard. Uh, you know, he has a beer gut, because he, he likes to... He likes to drink sometimes. Before his expeditions. Is this something I can... Oh no. Kind of, it kind of looks like, like I could push the... The block. This is... Is it Mew? This is really short. The corridor here. Looks tiny. Were Egyptians like really tiny? Or, or well, smaller? Huh. Let's see, so they were carving and they were moving the stones and then... Within the stone, someone found whatever that is. And they took it, see? And then they used it, maybe? So what's this supposed to be, an artifact or maybe some sort of stone? Maybe that's what we have to find out. Okay. See this one's this one's taller here. And again. Why is this so short? Were ancient Egyptians like you know one you know one meters fifteen in, in height? Or I don't know in feet it would be like maybe five one you know five feet. Okay, so it's timed. Alright. So going through this, we make a little copy of ourselves. And I can use the copy, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, 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 I get it. I get it. Just gonna go here, open the door, and just sit still so my real soul can go. Okay, I pressed E. Okay, so I can you can cancel the... Thank you, little ghosty. Well, clone ghosty. Clone ghosty. Alright, so I need to... Okay. So I need my ghost to push the button. Wait, let's go to there. I have to wait. So I can go on the platform. Okay. Cancel. Alright. Go, ghosty, go! Push the button! Thank you! And just like that... My ghost clone was gone. It will always be remembered, though. Okay, so we got a platform up there. And a cube. Huh. Wait, 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 wait. I can get the cube. Oh, I think I know. I need to go up there. Right. Come on. Come on, little cube. You're coming with me. Okay, so you're... Okay, so now I can... Okay, I get it. I'm gonna just pass, and I need to take the cube off. And once the cube is off, I can go up. So, let's go. Whoop. Wait for it, and grab it, and recording. End of recording. Pick it up. There we go. Here we go. This place has seen better days. Huh. What's with the wings, though? Why the wings? 
All right, what do we have here? Can I jump? Push cube. Oh, okay, I get it now. Okay, I, know, I get it. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna put it closer. And I'm going to... Alright. Push it as a ghosty. And then I'm gonna go on the... On the thing. Oh, crap. Okay, we're good, we're good. Push it. Thank you, ghosty. Come on. Go, go, go. Well, that's great. Thank you. <laughs> I wish there were more, like... Well, well, maybe that's gonna be later. More hidden things. Like, more, like, small little, um... You know clues as to the story or, or anything okay so that takes me there huh and I need that cube oh okay I know I'm gonna go quickly there we go I'm just gonna pick up the cube and put it back here Yes, and now back. The ghost get, gets the cube, and I need to press the button. Can I run? No, there's no running. This is actually I'm, it's a pretty good speed. See, another cube is on the platform. All right, bring it back. Come with me, cube. There we go. That's a good cube. I'm gonna put you over here. Come on. Oh, sorry. There we go. Now it works. Again with the low ceiling. Okay. Okay, so what do we have here? Another portal. Whoop. Okay. Oh, look! Could that be my father? Could that be a... Okay, so I need that. So what do I need? Okay, if I jump... This one puts that up. And over here... Okay, I get it. I need... Um, I need the cube in order to go up on the platform. I'm gonna put it here, but then I'm gonna need the cube to put put it back here too. So wait, let's see. Okay. Okay. Okay, and I think I'm gonna. Okay, wait. So I'm gonna get a ghost, right? I'm gonna. Take the cube and put it there. And then with my real self I'm gonna have to go on the platform. So let's let's do that. Okay. Oh come on! Okay, that was not good. No. Maybe I need to just go through here, yeah that's the thing. Maybe I can't jump. Oh, sorry. Maybe I can't jump uh, high enough or, you know, I can't jump enough with the cube, so maybe I just need to go on the platform. Like on this platform, fall down and then go here. That's the thing. Because I definitely need the cube placed there, because that needs to be always activated for this platform to go up. So, yeah, that's... Uh, that's the thing. And technically, I, I, I can buy my time. There we go. And now I just have to 
real quickly. Make the jump. Yes. Place it. And we're done. Sweet. And no crocs. I hope not, at least. Nah, they can't be in here. Alright. Let's see if that was my father's ghostly, ghostly clone. I have this feeling that there's gonna be you know, like scorpions coming out. Or maybe snakes. Oh, hello. How did no one discover this yet? Oh, it's a pyramid too, wow. This looks beautiful. It's like... It's like soup, like well preserved. Like it still has the you know, golden, you know, top, the limestone, you know, and that covers the the outside. And look, there's the ghosty thing. Well, let me see here first, and then we're gonna go. A scarab, a lizard, and a snake. Can I fall? Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to go through all of those three areas. But first, let's see the the apparition here. Look how look how cool this is. Cause this this was allegedly how you know pyramids looked back when they were you know finished. They had this smooth limestone exterior, you know, a golden uh, top. That must be father, right? Papa? Is that you? Wow. After all those years, I finally found it. The Great Gate of Egypt. I wonder what ancient mystery it may hide. So, if I interpret the symbols correctly, opening the gate has something to do with these missing seals. The rest is harder to decipher. It's strange, but there is something written about a place above the clouds. Hmm, I guess I'll have to find out what that means. This whole place looks like a huge mechanism, probably driven by those buttons, but only one seems to work. Hmm. Right, so we're gonna have to go and get the seals. I can't decipher this. Yeah. So we're gonna get one seal, then the, the next area is gonna be opened or available, and, and so on and so forth until we get all three. And then with all three, this is gonna open. Alright. It'll be funny if there'll be some grave robbers coming behind us. And we will have to flee from them. Okay. So all of those are open, but only this one works. Right. Yeah, okay, so you, you get... Okay. Oh, and that was it, everyone. That was, uh, that was a prologue of Hourglass, and you can see here what... What you can see later in the game, if you find all those seals. Obviously more puzzles, tougher puzzles. Somewhere high up in the sky. Huh. Whoa. The hourglass. It's a necklace. And maybe that's gonna give us ex like new power? Is this what my father was looking for, maybe? Alright, so I mean this is just speculation, but that was it everyone. That was the prologue of hourglass. I mean it's um it it's a you know a short prologue, but uh it, it still gives you an idea of what you're gonna see in the full game more and obviously more complex puzzles uh, that 
will require you to make a copy of, of yourself and time things and your movements. So, you know, um, the coordination between your ghost and well, ghost clone and, you know, your own self, uh, you know, manages to pass through all, all the challenges. So that was it for an hourglass. If you're interested in the game, uh, you can play the prologue yourself. You can find it on this.io. You just see the link in the description below if you want to wishlist the game. You can do it on Steam, also linked in the description. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up real quick. And if you like what I do here, consider subscribing. That would be actually immensely, immensely helpful. If you could subscribe, tell other people about the channel, spread the word, check out the back catalog too, check out YouTube, check out BitChute, check out Odyssey if you want to see all the cool games that I cover. And uh, after that, please take just half a minute to see the ways to which you can support me so I can continue doing gaming coverage and more for a very long time. The best way to support me is to join my locals community at cryptichybrid.locals.com. The link is also in the description. Now you can become a member of the community for free or you, be you can become a supporter for $4 a month. It's a Patreon-like system on there. So you pay $4 a month and you get lots and lots of perks and of course while also supporting all of my endeavors under the Cryptic Hybrid umbrella. Now the things you get, uh, you get early access to videos if you are a supporter, you get support only live streams, you get to decide what I play every Monday on live stream. You can tell me what games you want me to play. Um, then you get behind the scenes content, you get access to never before seen videos, including some more mature content. You get to ask questions for future developer interviews that I do, and your questions will take priority during those interviews. And you also participate in game giveaways, one that should be starting tomorrow, yeah. Uh, well, tomorrow. It's just it. Just go there, cryptichybrid.locals.com. Become a supporter, and uh, you're gonna see the game giveaway that I'm gonna run um, in in the next week. Um, so uh, check it out. Uh, other ways to support me, you can give me a, a direct donation through PayPal. There's a PayPal link in the description. You can donate cryptocurrency to the PaySling link. You can donate bats, basic attention tokens. If you use the Brave browser, you know you get uh, and you see ads that do not uh, steal your data. You get rewarded with basic attention tokens, and you know you get um, you get those bats, and you can tip your favorite creators. You can tip me bats on any video of mine on YouTube or on any post that I make on uh, Twitter. On Twitter, I'm at Cryptic Hybrid. You can follow me there if you wanna know when I go live, when I post stuff. Uh, if you wanna see, you know, uh, you know what other games I'm I'm interested in, um, and I, you know, I share with the world. So definitely follow me on there. And uh, last but not least, there's a Humble Store link. Bookmark that. Use it whenever you buy anything from the, or you want to buy anything from the Humble Store. And you're not gonna pay anything extra for the stuff that you buy. You're just gonna tell that store to send me a small percentage of the money you spend there. That was it, everyone. That was the prologue, the the prologue of Hourglass, the full game coming in October 2021. Thanks again for watching, and until the next time we see each other, have an awesome day.